junkin pool over here in Porville. So we're over here in the southwest corner of Porville in our old building. And we're gonna, got a guy supposed to be, not today, but whenever he gives us a call getting these trees, see about getting them, the limbs cut off. They're all, there's two trees here. And I want to put a building or probably put a shipping container out here for storage. And these limbs are falling down all the time, so I'm just gonna have to cut them and leave them trunks right there for a statue or something. I talked to a guy at Cars and I don't know what to get, but I'm gonna see because we wanted to kind of turn this into a little flea market for the weekends. That's kind of the plan. We got our own porta potty here. Yeah, I got the S10. And for anybody that hasn't seen the old building, we're still working on it. I didn't get the outside painted. Got a had a new roof put on it. The roof was falling. There was a big old hole in it, a couple of holes in it. Got it all fixed up. I'm gonna paint the outside. Got city gas. Get the power turned on. I hadn't had power on probably 30 years. I think is what they were saying. Got the gas meter, city gas meter in. I put that old light up there. That comes from a job we had. We did. I got another door to put on here. This is just kind of temporarily framed in. There, there, Debbie. Oh. What'd you do? See a mouse? Oh no. Oh, you got that radio on. You listen to your channel. Tools. We'll both have different channels. So we got a lot of stuff. I don't know nothing about it over here. Need to do some search and see if any of it's worth money. There's pencils. Microwaves, old lantern there. I'll take this home, Debbie. got some signs gonna take some signs home so if anybody hasn't seen it this is a big mess over here there's a lot of scrap there's a lot of kind of yard sale type flea market stuff here and instead of paying to go to a flea market we're gonna just probably run an ad in two or three papers get some picnic tables out here and maybe offer other people to come and set up if they want to Just beware of the dog. I want to take that one home too, because remember we got them dogs out there. And we got a for sale sign here. We was actually looking for a help on it sign at the stores and we couldn't find any. I don't know why. We've been to a few different stores and used to be able to buy them and I painted another one up put in front of the house and we got an ad in the paper. We're kind of looking to get somebody to help get this set up and running and So yeah, I put this in. Didn't have no power on, like I say, for probably 30 years. Got the power and everything on. I got the cover of that box right there. I just ain't done wiring. I need to put it in conduit. I got some conduit a buddy of mine gave me. Need to run the conduit through here. And but the plan was is to sell the washers and dryers, clean them all up, and stoves and. Uh, get them all buffed out real good with a car buffer and pine saw them and all that good stuff and have our uh, flea market here and outside and anybody want to set up with a table or something might even do the free setup for a while see if we can get some people coming over here and then charge them like 10 bucks a day if we get anything going we get enough customers see that owl there Woo -hoo! That's all brass. You can see it. I can't even see it. Maybe I can get closer. Yeah, we painted these shelves up, painted the ceiling. We'd get organized. We'd put some of the stuff up on the shelves. We just ain't got to it. 
No shell said missing. Did you tell them what you've thrown in here, like the machine shop? And yeah, for anybody that I didn't already tell that's new to the channel, this used to be a machine shop, and then it was a laundromat. <laughs> and actually, I come in here with the torches. I think I did a video of that, and I cut the drain pipe out. I got well, There's a bunch of them across the back wall here to make more room so you could set tables up against the wall. And I... Uh, What else did I do? Oh, I put the, like I say, I put the service in and had the gas all hooked up. And so, yeah, it was a machine shop and a laundry mat, right, Debbie? Yeah. But it was filled with stuff and we bought it. We had to wait quite a while. Well, before we bought it, we had to wait for the guy to get the stuff out of it. And, and I put that new door in. I haven't got that done yet, neither. And it's never been open. Brand new door, so got to get that up and replace some windows. That's a sewing machine there. But we actually have sold a lot of stuff out of here. We was putting stuff in the computer and I was meeting people over here and selling stuff. So, certain things want to sell them, some things don't. Just thought I'd do a quick video over here in the southwest corner of Poorville. We're trying to decide, get things moving before spring. I'd like to, I'd like to open, get something going by February, March, which is getting close. Get some warm weather and be one of the first people advertising for a sale. That's when you get the die hard yard sale people looking in the papers. So, thanks for stopping by Poorville. Have a great day. Go find a project. Goodbye now.